Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the all new 2024 Kia Sportage SX Prestige model. Very excited to get my hands on this vehicle. It's been about a year or so since I've actually driven the uh, Sportage SX Prestige. We're going to take this thing for a drive. We're going to go over a couple things inside and out and then we'll hit the road. First thing you guys are going to notice is this nice leather red interior. It's very sharp. Kia did an awesome job designing it. Now powering this uh, Kia Sportage is a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. This is paired up also to an eight speed automatic transmission. It power outputs being around 187 horsepower and about 178 feet pounds of torque. You can expect around 23 city and 26 highway. With this uh, trim level, you do get a lot of driver's aid. You get adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring in your side mirrors, a nice surround view camera and um, a lot of parking sensors in the front and in the rear uh, cruise control lane centering it's been pretty awesome to drive this car but let's take a look on the outside and then we'll hop back up go up some more text and then we'll hit the road turn these fog lamps on as well so this trim level with it having an all-wheel drive system you have about eight a little bit over eight inches of ground clearance uh which is like a inch or so higher than the front wheel drive model those daytime running lights are very very bright fog lamps down here at the bottom and then we do have a forward facing camera on the front now this generation is a bit has a little bit more space more cargo area than the previous gen model kid did an awesome job designing this car it's very very sharp do get a power lift gate it's right beside your backup camera. Goes your cargo area, decent amount of storage. You can put groceries, uh, furniture, practically anything in the back. Has a lot of vertical space. Do have a 12 volt plug here. Then we need to fold your seats down. You can pull this and then they'll fold both of your seats down. Do get a 60 40 split. And then right up under, we do have a compact spare tire with the jack there we go lots of vertical space very very a lot of room love the tail lights on here tire will set up we have 235 55 rim size 19s nice tires and in the back you guys are gonna notice we do have arm and cardin a little bit of storage here and the thing that messes with me is that once you put these seats down and you lock them in place you have to manually unlock them and actually adjust them back to how you had it you do get reclining as well i just thought that that was something that creates a little bit more work for you <laughs> now in the back you got a tremendous amount of room do have a storage there a little spot to hold your bags love this uh, area you can actually put like a tablet there uh, i took i rented one took my we went down to florida put my daughter's tablet in there and it was pretty nice do have vents the thing of the suite too is she was able to charge it right here without running that cable from the front you get charging usb c ports on driver and passenger seat a little bit of storage there nice interior that kia has put on this car armrest feels pretty firm tremendous amount of room and look at that pit area very very nice easy to get in and out of this second row let's take a look at that four cylinder engine all righty there goes that four cylinder engine A lot of space in here decent amount of room to work with do it keyless entry drive uh, adjustments for driver do have memory settings as well different drive modes you get four options normal sport smart and then snow and then do have heated and ventilated seats for driver and passenger 
heated steering wheel all those controls are here physical buttons then we also have adjustable cup holders have much of a bigger cup and then that's if you have a smaller cup center locker differential do have a 360 surround view monitoring system idle start stop auto hold hill descent gear shifter for that eight speed automatic transmission push button start do have wireless charging down there here's where it gets a little tricky so this is your media with a switchable changeable uh, screen for your climate control as well did see a little bit of complaints I wish they would just have a full display of it all together do have a nice resolution screen for all of your features and function thing that I really really enjoy about it is the latest technology so everything is very very bright responsive do get adaptive cruise control menu button link centering link keeping system volume control voice commands then on the sides we do have your turn signals and I love the turn signal camera as well and then on this side we do get your windshield wipers of blocks room up top you guys see that nice panoramic roof you also get a shade that covers this completely you can also just touch these lights here and then here if you want to use your mirror there's a light switch up top been pretty nice to actually drive this car a couple cool things couple cool gadgets and then we do have storage in here Kia has been very very good at keeping up with a lot of driver's aid a lot of safety features a lot of functions all right guys let's take this thing for a drive so it drives parking system in the front and the rear and then here goes that 360 view it's pretty nice showed you changing your wheels like technology is like top tier do get wired carplay it's not wireless built-in navigation nice screen we're gonna take a listen to that sound system but let's hit the road there's a couple complaints about this uh, sportage about the power 187 horsepower drive rise feels pretty decent Kia actually has a softly tuned suspension on this car which helps absorb bumps and everything but I think they also need to do a little bit of a touch up on it just a little refreshment the complaints have been that this engine lags on a power that's needed especially when you put it down I did have it in uh, snow mode on the way here and I can see that they need a little bit of adjustment on there they do get a manual adjustable steering wheel you can adjust it however you like I'm gonna show you guys how the auto hold work actually there we go release my foot off the brakes and now I can just drive I actually think I'm in snow mode now love the turn signal cameras works awesome as you guys can see I'm about halfway throttle it does lack a little bit of power but I mean if you're getting this car for speed most customers are actually getting this car for looks the design that's on it is very very sharp Kia has made a big change over a few years with the Sportage Kia's done an awesome job too on this Sportage with blocking out the wind noise. Um, not a lot of noise in cabin, neither. Like this menu button, you can see your tire pressures, scroll through a tension level timer speed just all of the cool little things that you would need curb weight on this car is around 3800 pounds uh decent for this size of a car that's actually a pre-generation sportage in front of us 
when you floor it this thing does rev up a lot you do hear the engine thing I like about this Sportage though is visibility out of it is nice kid did the right the dimensions on the window have nice big windows I can see very good out of all four windows out of my rear view mirror as well This is the perfect time to have that rear view windshield wiper. Works nicely, keeps my visibility out that back window great. Oh, that guy just ran a red light. Okay, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Love that turn signal camera. I actually have this car in auto hold, so I actually don't even have to put my foot on the brake. Kia's been uh, doing a very good job with the driver aid assist, um, which safety features on it, responsive. Uh, sometimes they might wander off here and there, but uh, very, very responsive with the latest technology that they offer. Do get a power liftgate button here, traction control, and then this illumination goes all the way up to 100. So you get 100 different uh, settings on it. little vibration and steering wheel for that lane keeping system I put this over to normal and give it gas it goes that uh let's try to set this highway driving system I'm just gonna keep my hands on the steering wheel as you guys see that it's wandering just a little bit cool thing about it is I can set up the distance that I would like between me and the car that's in front of me steering wheel let's change this there we go can change that following distance seats are very comfortable did take this on like a 14 hour drive blind spot detection works great goes at work and again let me know a car is in my blind spot very very responsive quick That's all the way to the floor. It's the power you would have. Gonna make a stop here to check out this Harman Kardon audio system. 
see how it's Alrighty guys, I would say that this car Sportage feels just a little underpowered. I mean, floored it a couple times. Kick used an adjustment there on the Sportage, but for the price you pay, which MSRP is around 36.3, and then with all of the added options, you're looking a little bit over $38,000. But for the price you pay, the features you get, I think they could just use a little bit of adjustment there. They hit it off with the room, the size, the feel, the drive. Just need a little bit of tuning, a little bit of touch up on that suspension, just a little bit more touch up on this engine. Those are my thoughts about this 2024 Kia Sportage. Sound system is pretty decent. I mean, Kia's been having this Harman Kardon system for a while. Here's this key fob for you guys to get remote start on the basically side of it. Lock, unlock, and then uh, button for your power lift gate. And you lock it twice and then you hold. And there goes, guys. Tell me what your guys' thoughts on. Tell me what you guys think about it. Those are my only two things about it is that switchable media and climate. And then a uh, little bit of tuning up on that suspension and then the engine just feels a little underpowered could use like a turbo or something on it but that's gonna be right for today's video guys catch you guys in the next video